Hello, YouTubers, beer. Hello, YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're gonna do a beer review. Cool. I think it's cool. I like doing beer reviews. They taste good and they look good. Get my tweaker light. All right. So we got one here from Russian River Brewing. Okay. This is um, this Russian River Brewing Company. This is Hop Growers. It's a tribute series. CLS Farms from Yakima Valley. It's um, an IPA coming in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. This is a 1.25 fluid ounce bottle I picked up at uh, Whole Foods for like 7 bucks out the door. They're from Santa Rosa in Windsor, California, USA. Russian Brewing Company, um, bottled on um, 9 7 23, so it's like 20 days old, so it's really fresh, never had this before, never seen it before, so a brand new one here from Russian River, it looks like, that's what the bottle looks like, okay, a little washed out. Come on, camera. Okay, anyways. There's the caparoo. Okay. So, uh, let's uh, check this thing out real quick. Okay. Ooh, got some nice smoke out of there. Still smoking. It's hanging out, hanging around down in there. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pouring out. Smoke is pouring out. Nice. Super nice. Nice, easy pour here, okay? Just normal pour. Kind of in between. If you're wondering who that band was, that was Testament Live in Japan, 2023. Very recent. Okay. Let me get a quick thumbnail here real quick. A little more there. Get it up there. There we go. That's almost all of it. There it is. That's all of it. Get one without the daily grime on it. Handled. Okay. So. We have a um, pretty good size uh, head here. It's real tight looking, uh, frothy, creamy, silky, a little bit, tiny bit uh, foamy there. It's got a slight haze to it. Sorry about the dogs in the background. Someone probably walked by. Very light color. Kind of like a straw color almost. Really light gold. Um, shoot. Get my light. Dogs are distracting me a little bit here. Shit. Okay, there we go. It's got a slight haze to it. Very light color. Looks almost like it might be a juice bomb, but it's almost like a Pilsner color, almost. Okay. Watch that scooter. Your scooter sitting there, right there. All right, so let's check out the aroma. Nice. 
a nice uh it's got a sweetness to it. Oh my god, whoa, wow. Whoa, that smells good. Holy moly. Oh, that's wow, that's intoxicating. Oh my god, it's hard to explain. Some pine, some floral, and the sweetness like powdered sugar. Almost like cotton candy or something. Really nice, really soft, pillowy, sweet aroma coming off it. I learned this from Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Getting really good reviews out of you. Ooh, wow, that's a good trick, dude. Um, ooh, I got some spices coming through there. Sage. I'm getting some sage. Some some really nice uh, wild desert type spices. Nice sage note too. Definitely pine, like a, a pine oak, or like the 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 bark off a pine tree. Kind of like that, and like kind of like sage. Pine floral, superb smelling, superb. Damn, cheers. Wow. Whoa, that's awesome. Wow, that's incredible. Tribute series, CLS Farms. Wow. Never heard of CLS Farms. Let me get you a good gander at that bottle there just because... I know I'm in my underoos, but come on. I worked all day. I, I can do this. I'm covered. Okay. Boom. Sorry. Sorry to all you uh, alphas out there. We're showering the freaking locker room. Come on. So that's really good. Got some nice lacing on the glass there already. Um. It's got a medium mouthfeel, but it's super smooth. Uh, the water's really clean. A little lemon zest, maybe, or something. Wow. Those uh, spices or herbs are coming through. Kind of like, it reminds me of like what you'd smell in the desert. It's the kind of plantation out in the desert. You know, that kind of sage, whatever else grows out there. Really nice. Really good. No booziness, no raw alcohol notes. I'm going to see if I can wake it up here a little bit and get some malts through. Mmm, what a beer. I got whistle nose. Great. Ah, just really nice. Really nice. It's not like blowing blow me away. It's not like blowing me away with super dankness. It's just a really, really well made, balanced, like tasty beer. Mm, it's refreshing. Really amazing. Um, damn. That's about as good as Pliny the Elder, I'd say. Yeah. So um, let me swell one more time and I'll wrap this puppy up. It's amazing. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's pretty much what I got in this puppy. It was just a really nice beer. Really nice beer. Typical Russian River, you know, like it's just really like they have a quality about them. I don't know if it's their water or what, or maybe they just, I don't know. There's something about Russian River beers that really, they just make awesome beer.
Yeah, that's really good. So uh, with that said, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half being C average, I think it's really amazing. It's not the best IPA or beer or whatever I ever had, but it's super memorable, and I would buy it again for even for at the high price it is. I mean, it's only a half ounce more than a pint, and they're charging seven. That's high. That's very high. So that, you know, but as if it's just a single as like a special occasion thing, or I really, you know, want to get something, treat myself, this would, this would be a treat right here. Okay. So I don't think it's quite as good as Pliny the Elder, but it's, it's right there with Happy Hops and, you know, the other ones, Blind Pig. Still Pliny the Elder is my favorite from these guys, but this one here is different. It's really nice. Uh, it's very unique tasting. I don't think I've ever quite had one quite like this. That was funny. Anyways. Oh. I'm, on, I'm almost getting like a coriander, sort of. So with that said, I'm going to go 4.8. I think it's that good. Not quite a nine. Not quite a, you know, five stars fully, but. 4.8, super good. I would probably buy it again. I'll remember what it tastes like because it's a memorable IPA. And um, I won't ever get the hankering for a desert type piney, you know, kind of pine bark type beer. I'll be looking for this one if it ever comes out again. So if you like the notes I mentioned there, this beer is out right now. I don't know if they're going to brew it again or how long it's going to last, but it's in Whole Foods right now in uh, Tustin, California. That's all I can tell you. So thank you for stopping by. Hit the like, subscribe, and the little bell. I do appreciate it. Leave a comment. I do appreciate that too. I love the uh, comments. Those are always fun. Have a great day. Cheers. Later.